Hi everyone, my name is Justin. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to recode variables into new variables. The data set that we'll be using in this tutorial is Ipsos Reads 2011 Federal Election Exit Poll. Ipsos Reed is a large public opinion firm in Canada and in 2011 it conducted an online survey of almost 40,000 voters. These voters were asked a series of questions. The questions and their answers are saved in this particular data set. If you'd like to learn how to download the data set from the Wilfrid Laurier University X Drive, you can visit our website at lizpop.ca and watch our first module on SPSS. I'll begin by opening this data set. When working with SPSS, there will be occasions where you'll want to make changes to a variable. So, for example, you may want to collapse categories of a nominal or ordinal variable, or you may want to delete categories in a nominal variable. When making these changes, it is a good idea to create a brand new variable. This way, you can keep the original variable and create the new variable that you're interested in looking at. So, for example, let's say that we want to look at age groups rather than specific ages. That is to say, let's say that we want to consider differences across age ranges such as 18 to 34 and 35 to 54 rather than considering differences between people at each individual age. In order to do this, you'll want to go ahead and click on transform along the top and then select recode into different variables. In the dialog box entitled Recode into Different Variables, we're going to select the variable that we want to recode. For this example, the variable name is age underscore val. Find the age underscore val variable and put it into the input variable output variable box. You can do this as a reminder by clicking on the arrow in the middle of the dialog box. Next, you will need to create a name and label for the new variable. For this example, age underscore val will be renamed age underscore val recode. We will label the new variable recoded age. After creating the new variable name and label, you can go ahead and click on the box titled old and new values. If we want to group the ages of 18 to 34 into one category, first select the range feature on the left side of the menu. Enter 18 into the upper cell and 34 into the lower cell. Then, on the top right hand side, enter 1 into the value cell. Then, click the add button in the center of the screen to input this recode within the old, new dialog box. This tells SPSS to collapse every single age from 18 to 34 into a single value. We're going to continue to do this for the remaining age categories and in this example we'll collapse 35 to 49, 50 to 64, and 65 to 92 which is the oldest age in this data set. Once you've completed collapsing those age groups, it is a good idea to exclude any non-responses or missing values. We can do this by selecting all other values on the left side of the dialog box, and then we can select System Missing under New Value. You can then click Add to finish the recode. Finally, you can click on Continue. If you haven't already, click Change in the Output Variable Square in the dialog box. So that way you apply the new name and label to the new variable. You can then click OK. The recoded variable will appear at the bottom of the data set under the name that you have given it in the Recode menu. In our example here, we see that age underscore val recode is the 191st variable in the data set. We'll want to apply value labels to the new variable. 
You can do this by selecting the cell under the values column and in the new variable row and select the three dots that appear once you highlight the cell. Then in the value box enter the first value. In this scenario, we recoded all of the ages from 18 to 34 and gave it a value of 1. So in the label, we can apply 18 to 34. We'll want to continue to do this for all of the other values that we recoded. Once you've finished relabeling all the new values, you can click OK. It is good practice to check the results of your recoding in order to make sure that everything has been done correctly. When you recode, the number of cases that take each possible value of the new variable will be displayed. To confirm this, you can select Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and then Frequencies. You'll want to select the original variable as well as the variable that you have recoded. And then you can click OK. We can see that the cumulative percentage of people ages 18 to 34 is 12.5 percent. Going down to our new frequency output, we should see the exact same cumulative output for the range that we created of ages 18 to 34. And indeed, we do see that here. That concludes this tutorial. If you'd like to see more tutorials, be sure to follow us on our YouTube channel. You can also visit our website at lizpop.ca. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Laurier Inst. I'm Justin, and I'll see you next time.